fix the answers technical. Don't apologize. All right, so this is going to be the second episode, picking up where we left off. I know the last one was me just kind of wandering around and doing stuff. But that's, you know, when you first start, you got to figure it out. As I said, never played this game before. So, Miss Holcomb, you and I are still talking. And the goal of this series is to go on a killing spree and kill everyone in the game. Um, well, unfortunately, sure. because of all of these nasty uh, guards that are standing around, into the apparently methods. for the first time I'm going to have it to do some questing we have food, and put we myself have in a better position, like maybe a little higher level where She's I can actually uh, succeed without dying with, well, repeatedly. Not fish. <clears throat> like a normal serial killer, you know. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She did that, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great! I got my and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know.
Hmm, Parvati. Looks like she's a mechanic of some kind. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Where the hell did you go, Parvati? Is it a bug? Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. <clears throat> about if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Him. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Oh, aren't you the little grease monkey? Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, oh, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. Please, get it. What would you like to discuss? Uh, what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Yeah. 
They rejected the earlier society <coughs> and moved beyond the walls oh, so man. thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Well, I'm not intelligent enough to answer that. Okay. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, <coughs> like a trapped animal. Pretty universal <laughs> here. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... there's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, that's called slavery. <laughs> Although I'm not doing this stream to talk philosophy. But that's funny. The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as Scientism to the layperson. Is it anything like Scientology? You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Mm, your theory, your theory uh, doesn't take into account what most people consider free will there, dude. Well... First, there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, He's got a no. sense of humor. To truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation.
Right. Okay. So crazy cultist. <clears throat> I kind of like him though. I might not. I'm gonna. Ah, uh, screw it. I gotta put a bullet in everybody. I don't think I can kill Parviati though, or my companions. Something Usually you can, can but Perfect. you might be. Don't want to sick. I need to find some psychopathic chick to fucking go on this killing spree with me. I think it went out the wrong way. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love this. Is... Oh, there's a vending machine. <sighs> oh, geez. they sell like weapons and shit. Plasma rifle. This one sells. That's a big ass gun. See? See? I'm pretty sure that would rip me to shreds. I don't want to have that. What is that little emblem that comes up though? 34, 20. Oh, that's my lock skill versus... Okay, on the left, I'm guessing it's your lock skill. And on the right, I'm guessing it's your... It, the, the door's requirement. And then... I guess the bottom is your mag locks. Oh, those must be like lock pick, Automatic lock picks or some shit. Okay, okay. I'm learning. This is gonna come in handy later. Pretty sure that would kill me. There are loads of vending machines here. Assault rifle. 215 DPS, that's pretty good. 82. Who's this guy? Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his sense. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. This guy seems certified. <laughs> uh, so mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. You mean the fucking when the centuries? Swarms of mechanicals <laughs> come clanging on over that hill. Where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw. Few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. 
They have sent a scout, prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. <laughs> Go on. I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Okay. Let's go kill some stuff. Hmm. After I, uh, loot this place. That's a hacker spike. Energy cells, armor parts, bit cartridge. That looks like a chest. Something I'm going to look at in a minute is if I can equip my companions with shit. can't kill him and you get high Those are marauders. Don't I have a sniper rifle? Oh, okay, it wants me to level up. Alright. Um Let's go with range. How many points do I have? Nineteen.
the hell does dodge do? Okay, so not what I thought. Okay. Oh shit, so you can um, apparently equip your companions and shit too. That's kind of cool. She's got a big ass hammer. Better armor than what I'm wearing. Oh, and they have their own skills and shit. Oh, that's cool. I don't think they can, I don't know if they can die or not, I guess we'll find out. Character. Why is there a star? Oh, what is this? Summary perks. Oh, I get perks too. Let's see here. Toughness. Base health. Damage when alone in a party. So that's like the lone wolf thing from Fallout. Companion crit chance, base armor rating. These are some pretty good fucking... I haven't run into a problem with that yet. Unlock ability to fast travel when encumbered. Yeah, that, that'll be heavy later. Or that'll be uh, good later. <clears throat> XP from companion kills. These are some really, really good perks. I don't know. I'm torn between base health and armor. I'm going to go with base health this time. Apparently you can, oh, it looks like you can actually, like, oh, no, okay, never mind. So it's just you select it and then it locks it in, okay. <sighs> okay, let me see here. All right. Okay, so inventory, what is this, 53 and... Oh, that's 180 DPS. What's the damage on this? 66 and 18. Yeah. I want that. There we go. Oh, I got a scope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you scared? Come on, hiding. Come out and die. No. Uh -oh. Oh, 
Parvati's a bit of a badass, dude. She just ran in there with that fucking hammer and smashed him in the head. Okay, okay. That was unexpected. Oh, there's an assault rifle with that guy. like another raider. Huh? Damage in this game is pretty realistic as far as headshots and stuff go. If you can aim, you can kill these guys really quick. I can see how I'm going to run out of inventory space very quickly though. I do like the, um... I do like how it, uh, when you walk up to something, it just automatically pops up the loot. You don't have to push any buttons or any of that shit, so that shortcut for that is really nice. I'm liking that.